first quarter, first and goal case. Whalen rolls out to the right, fires it to Corey Check and touchdown Spartans. Hi everyone, and welcome to a Case Western Reserve University Athletic Department internet special with head football coach Greg Debelek. Coach, thanks for joining us in studio. Coach, last Saturday at Case Field with a 41-6 victory over Overland College, you became the all-time winningest coach in modern era school history. I was wondering, did you have any idea coming into the season that that was a reachable goal for you this year? I did, simply because I was around the program uh, back when Jim Chapman set the record. Uh, my brother played for Coach Chapman, and, and I actually, uh, uh, my junior year of high school, played against Coach Chapman in high school, and he was a head coach at Willoughby South. So uh, I knew of Jim and, and knew of the great work that he did and kind of had an idea, because I knew he didn't stay very long, that I was kind of in the ballpark. So. Uh, it's certainly a great honor. Uh, Jim Chapman is recognized as a, as a great coach in the Cleveland area in both, uh, both the college ranks and high schools. So certainly a great honor to, uh, to have that record right now. I was in your office later that evening after the smoke had cleared from the fireworks and a player knocked on the door, came in and congratulated you on your milestone. Were there other people that reached out to you that night or in the days following? And were any of those communications special to you? Well, you know, my coaches and, and players, uh, a lot of them because of night game and the fireworks and, and, and getting together with their parents uh, uh, approached me the following day. But uh, certainly that's the most special, you know, the, the people you work with. And, and quite frankly, it's, it's not an individual record. It's, it's a team record. Couldn't have done it without some very talented people, players and coaches. Not too many people outside of that. Uh, my mom emailed me a couple days following and a friend from high school uh, gave me a call. So. I guess people were uh, kind of focused on Ohio State troubles and the Browns troubles and um, you know it's it's a nice thing to have but in the big scheme of things um, you know, I'm not sure how much attention it, it really receives but it, it's certainly appreciated. Under four to play here in the fourth quarter. Whalen will keep it on the ground and go to Meyer. He has running room on the right side 25, 20, 15. Well you've won 37 games in six seasons as the Spartan skipper. Not bad but probably the most impressive stat in your resume right now is 24 consecutive regular season wins. That's how many you got under your direction. Coach, you guys haven't lost a regular season game since November 4th of 2006. Can words even describe how incredible that feat is? I'll tell you what, that's something that Dan Whalen talked to the kids uh, before our first game was it's, it's been close to a thousand days uh, since we've last lost a regular season football game. So you think about that and um, you know, I don't know if you can you know, predict that happening. You know, you just you just go out week to week and you play hard and you know you go in expecting to win, but uh, that many in a row, um, it, it's special. And I tell the kids all the time that what we're going through is is very special and enjoy it. And by all means, we don't want it to end. Um, and we know it will end so, at some time. But uh, when we wake up Saturday morning and, and we're together before the game, it's not going to end that day. And that's kind of how we enter every every game every week with that sort of attitude. I want to keep with the numbers here for a minute, Coach. Case Field, which opened in 2005, arguably one of the best, if not the best, facilities in Division III. The Spartans are a whopping 19-8 and eight there. It truly has become a special place for not only the team, but the Case Western Reserve community on Saturdays in the fall, hasn't it? It's a great atmosphere. There's no doubt about that. Having been there before the field existed, I, th I think I can appreciate it and all the people that played there before when the facilities weren't so great. Um, it, it's a special feeling to go out there. The facility is awesome. It's, it's not big, but it's the appropriate size, and the atmosphere on game day is tremendous, and, and it even gets multiplied in night games. It's just a, a special, special place to be, and I think our kids enjoy being in that sort of environment, and I certainly think it adds to their experience here at, at Case Western Reserve, and I, and I think it gives us an advantage because I, I do feel that our kids feel that uh, we're, that our home field is a, is a special place and an advantage for them to be at. 2007, Lee Trestle, Ohio College Football Coach of the Year. 2008, AFCA Region Two Coach of the Year. 2004, 2007, and 2008, UA Coaching Staff of the Year. 2007 and 2008, Liberty Mutual National Coach of the Year finalist. Back-to-back -back UA championships. Back-to-back -back NCAA postseason appearances and holding a national ranking since midway through the 2007 season. Is there any chance one of those stand out more to you, or do each one of them hold a special meaning? Well, first of all, they're all, I view them as all team awards. I mean, 
I would not be getting recognition if it weren't for our team, our record that we've put up and all the great work that our coaches have done and our players have done. So they're all, they're all team awards. The Lee Trussell Award is special just because of, of Jim Trussell uh, handing it out um, and what Lee Trussell has meant to the football community in, in Ohio and Cleveland in particular, uh, being the head coach at Baldwin Wallace for all those years and winning a, a national championship. Lee Trussell was the head coach at Mentor High School and I'm a graduate of Mentor High School. Uh, it's something that Jim Trussell and I talked about that night when I received the award. So getting an award named after Lee Trussell uh, for Division III, uh, Division III football coach is very special. And besides that, I, I think the, the national ranking was something that was our goal when we first came here. And um, I can't tell you how many people told me that I was making a mistake by coming to Case, so when I became the head coach, that just stay there a couple of years, you're never going to win, just get head coaching experience on your resume. So that's, that is special, to receive a national ranking and stay there for the number of weeks that we have at a place like Case, where the academic f is really the focus, um, is truly special. Raylan in the gun, takes the snap, drops back to throw, sidesteps a pursuer, now stays on his feet, dives in for the touchdown. Well, speaking of Dan Whalen, your senior quarterback, you know, people have read plenty about him on the internet over the last four years, but three games into this year, he already has over 1,000 yards and 15 touchdowns. That's unbelievable. Talk a little bit about, uh, talk a little bit about recruiting him, as it was key you know, to the team's success. And, and, and the fact that it involved a former quarterback record holder here at Case. Dan is a local product from Willoughby South High School and, and very quickly when we saw his, his, uh, his game tape, we knew he was a special player and absolutely the best that we could get at Case Western Reserve University. A teacher at his school uh, happened to be a Case football player and happened to be a quarterback and he, he owned quite a few records. Uh, Nick Leskowitz and uh, Nick got involved in the recruiting process and, and basically influenced Dan to go to the best academic school that he could and it came down and it was was Case so um, it's kind of ironic that uh, you know four years later uh, Dan has basically broken all of Nick's records and accomplished everything that he has so that was uh, that was an interesting recruiting experience I can't say enough about Dan you know Dan is our, our best player uh, he gets a lot of recognition all of it is earned. Uh, nobody works harder than him. Usually a kid in his position uh, may tend to coast because of the success that he has. No one has worked harder in the weight room. Nobody works harder at practice every day to get better. Any recognition and award that Dan gets, it is, it is well earned and, and is from hard work uh, from Dan that, that he's accomplished these things.